Three days after seeing her team win on the unlikeliest of plays, an infield pop that was misplayed into four runs, Bordentown coach Hillary Tucker saw the same kind of play work against her in the Scotty's Burlington County Scholastic League Liberty Division game at Rancocas Valley. What are you going to do? I mean, sometimes it works out your way and sometimes it doesn't work out your way. And like I said, I'm proud of the girls for the way they fought and, you know, couldn't ask for a better group of girls. Wardentown built a 4-1 lead on a wild pitch and three sacrifice flies and was looking good behind pitcher Deborah Jones, who struck out eight batters over the first four innings. But everything changed in the fifth. By the fifth inning, they've seen her a couple times, so, so now they, they pretty much know to, what to expect. You know, and they made their adjustment, which is exactly what we need to do. Jolly and Young's infield single brought Allie Pellick to the plate with the Red Devils down three runs. I think that was definitely the turning point. I said to Shiloh, like, before we were in the field, I was like, this is going to be the inning. Like, I felt it. I was like, something's going to happen. And I guess that's what it was. I honestly didn't see it at all. I just kept running, just wanted to make it there. <laughs> I just saw, kind of saw it through, and then I was like, oh, took my chance. And, went. and then I saw, I was watching, and saw the ball go behind her, and the pitcher was kind of still on the field somewhere, and I took it. Jocelyn Lawrence put Rancocas Valley ahead with an RBI single later in the inning, and that left two on for Ashley Delaney, who'd struck out her first two times up. I just focused on seeing the ball a little more and seeing it better in. So like the first two times I was like unfocused, and then I just felt better the second or the third time. Um, it just felt good to help the team. I was just looking for the right pitch at the right time, and it finally came, and it was just a great moment, and I'm glad I could help the team. The ever-resilient Scotties chased RV starter Angie Dunphy with two runs in the sixth, but for the second straight game, Shyla Pastor came in and slammed the door. Two strikeouts in the seventh, and a leaping grab by Julie Contravo stranded two runners and sealed the Red Devils 7-6 win. We just knew that we needed to come back. Like We had a rough start, and we just want, really wanted to improve, and we needed this win. From the RV Sports Complex in East Hampton, this is John Lewis.